Hi, I'm Danny Baranowski. I'm an indie game music composer. What games have you done the music for? Super Meat Boy, The Binding of Isaac, uh, Cannibal, Drifter, Way, Mini Tail by Notch, Glorg, Blush, Time Doggy, Time Doggy 2, The Dogging of Time. I am here because Anthony Carboni made me think of uh, five top game songs off the top of my head. Katamari Damashi, Lonely Rolling Star, is a great song because it's not really something that specifically um, seems to be created for a game. It's just kind of a pop tune that can exist by itself. Um, but it's kind of the idea of, of curating music for video games and that you can choose uh, tracks that fit what you're trying to do and, and the um, kind of the aesthetic you're trying to express. And it's, you know, you can. It doesn't have to fit the mold of video game music, you know. Um, and so this song kind of really embodies the, the cutesy, adorable, but kind of absurd world of Katamari Damashi. And it's just got a catchy tune and a killer hook and fat beats. The Day the World Revived in Chrono Trigger is a great track because it um, kind of shows that you, the interactive nature of video game music is where it kind of end up, ends up being this uh, collaboration between the player and the game and the soundtrack and this whole thing. And, and uh, it's only like a 20 second track, like it just loops. Um, it's not like a lot of tracks in, in general, like by bands or anything, where you have to have you know two to five minutes to present this whole idea and have it all in context. It's in context because it's in the game and it's played at an appropriate time in the narrative. There were probably others like it, but this one is the one that comes to mind in that. I did a track for The Binding of Isaac uh, for The Secret Room that's kind of the same thing. It's a very simple single instrument track that's only about 20 or 25 seconds long and it loops. Um, and it just, you know, because it showed me that you could um, depend more on the, on the context of where the track is presented um, to um, make it meaningful rather than just having to start from scratch. And... Perfect Dark Crash Site Confrontation is uh, basically one of the first times that I really felt like I was in a movie when I was playing a video game. It was very narrative, very action movie-ish. Um, and it uh, was actually the first remix I ever did for Overclock Remix back in the day. Um, and I'm sorry to Grant Kirkhope for ruining his wonderful song, track, peace, as they call it, in the circles of life. The Hell March from Clinic Conquer Red Alert um, was, a, was a very nostalgic piece for me because it was one of the first times that I kind of realized that video game music could be real music. I don't think there's anything wrong with chiptunes or sample-based stuff, but it was the first time that I remember loading up a game and it was guitars and, and vocals and real drums and all this kind of stuff. And, and it was uh, perfectly suited again to the narrative and the presentation of the game. And uh, it was a very big influence on me as far as I, from where I do my guitars to how I choose to, you know, what tracks to put in what parts of a game, so. My favorite video game music track of all time is... Dramatic music. Every fucking Final Fantasy boss theme there is. In particular, four, six, seven, and eight. There's no, uh, there's no video game uh, songs I can think of more in my childhood that influenced me, that I listened to more, that I loved more. The uh, boss themes of Final Fantasy are kind of like dream theater as interpreted by a robot from the 70s. It's basically prog rock where it's just these unreasonable synth solos and noodling by this underneath this or over this just heavy core of guitars and drums and all this kind of stuff and uh, you know it's 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 much more melodic than anything you'll ever hear on on the radio all this kind of stuff. Big reason why I like video game music I like really dense if you've ever heard anything I've ever done I like really dense, like melodramatic, overly done kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's out of anything I've ever heard from video game music that has probably influenced me more than anything. I 
I, I love, I would do boss tracks even if nobody, if this wasn't my job. Like it's just, it's just a fun thing I do is I write fucking boss tracks. What are you gonna do about it? Um, right now my band camp, dannybmusic.com, there's uh, the Super Meat Boy Piano Collection by the wonderful Brent Kennedy. He did a, a bunch of amazing impressionistic piano versions of uh, Super Meat Boy stuff. And then the soundtrack for the expansion of The Binding of Isaac is gonna come soon. So keep an eye out for that.